I've just downloaded the uh, three containers that I'm going to use for my house. Now these are the uh, three uh, shipping container models by Luis, which are on the uh, 3D warehouse. Uh, the one, these are the ones that I had recommended. And I've placed them uh, next to each other. I've uh, placed them next to each other. Um, and if we zoom in over here, then as you can see, I have them uh, uh, set right on each other like that, just adjacent to one another uh, by the uh, framework. So they are uh, they are touching along there. Uh, so they're touching along here and I, I've placed Susan inside one of them and uh, so I have these uh, these two 40 foot and one uh, 20 foot and uh, these two are facing in the same direction this one's facing the opposite direction with its doors uh, now there are several things about this one is that because I've imported these from the 3D warehouse, this, these container objects are components. Uh, SketchUp components uh, have certain particular um, characteristics to them. One is that uh, if you make a change to a component, if you edit a component, then that change is reflected in all instances of this component in your model. Uh, so, for instance, if I right-click on this and tell it to edit the component, then I do something like highlight here and delete the roof, then both of them have the roof deleted. That is a very handy uh, characteristic if I wanted to do something like, oh, you know, make a permanent change in the way the, uh, the con all containers uh, work. but. I don't want to do that in this case. I want these two containers to be distinct from one another because I want to, for instance, be able to cut out an opening in this adjacent wall here on both sides. They're on opposite sides, and so I would need to uh, 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 make um, changes that are unique to each one. So what I need to do, actually, is right-click on one of them and tell it to make unique. And if we go to entity info you can see that this one the definition name is 3d ISO shipping container 40 feet HC number one whereas this one over here is shipping container 40 feet HC so now these are two separate components and uh, they can be they can be edited separately and and uh, uh, changes made in one of them will not be reflected in the other this one of course is the 20 foot uh, container. It's already unique in this model. So, the next thing I want to do is look at my layers. And Luis, when he made these uh, models, very conveniently built them uh, as a set of separate components or uh, perhaps groups. Let's see, this is Ah, a group. The doors are groups, the sides are are groups, top and bottom, floor and so on. Those are all groups. And each of these groups lives inside a separate layer. So for instance, Vega Suelo, if I turn off visibility on it, see these are the, the frameworks that go underneath the floor. Uh, tapa, those are the the uh, back walls, see, on both of these, on the 20 foot and the 40 foot, they both reside in a, a layer of the same name. Marco, that's the uh, framework that goes around um, uh, around these panels. Puerta, the doors, Junta, are some kind of uh, outline. I don't know why they have those. 
This thing is the roof panels. These, whoops. These are the floor panels. This encompasses the sides. Side panels. So we have side panels, back panels, the doors, uh, what is this, a roof, uh, floor panels, uh, framework, um, the overall framing, and, uh, and some kind of outline that I have no idea what it does. All right, so these are these are separate uh, uh, separate layers that make up the uh, uh, the containers, and we're going to take advantage of those because they're c they're it's really nice to be able to use those layers. For instance, what I would like to do is be able to see nothing but the floors. One way to do that would be to oh, uh, create a uh, section plane and then then drag the section down until only the floors uh, uh, are. Um, are visible, but really the easiest thing to do is to get rid of. Whoops, not that. All the stuff and leave the floor panels behind. So, if I look at it this way, now I can see that. For one thing, my floors are not evenly distributed with one another, so perhaps the 20-foot uh, container is not quite uh, set correctly with the with the adjacent 40-foot container. So I'll have to change that. Uh, the other thing is that I can use this floor to uh, help me uh, lay out my floor plan. But let's uh, let's first get back to turning all these on, and let's see. Is this container really uh, set up against there? It appears to be. Those two really do appear to be in the same location. Are these overlapping somewhat? No. So it's just a, some kind of strangeness about the uh, way the floors are uh, arranged inside the containers. I'm not going to worry about it too much. So. We'll turn off everything but the floors and use that to start making a um, uh, a floor plan.